Have you ever tried the world's most expensive coffee? Do you know the world's most expensive coffee comes from the poop of an animal? Today I want to share the story of my first taste to the world's most expensive coffee, the Lua coffee. So basically during my Ubud visit, I happened to visit a farm uh, where they produce this world's most expensive coffee, the Lua coffee. The farm did have a wide variety of coffee, uh, coffee plants and they were nice enough to explain and show me each plant, how they are cultivated. This kind of coffee, we have Arabica, Robusta and Bali coffee. All right. Uh -huh. This is kind of Robusta coffee, mm -hmm. salt tree and big leaf. That oh, one okay. is the Robusta. Mm -hmm. And if the Arabica, mm -hmm. it's like this. Small leaf and salt tree. Like. And also we have a cocoa tree. So this is the cocoa. Ah yeah, the cook Here yeah, we produce chocolate as well. Uh-huh. This is palm civet. He was sleeping so we didn't want to disturb. So this guy creates the world's most expensive coffee and there were some babies too. It is kind of sad to see them in these tiny cages but still what to do. So this is the mongoose or we call them luwak in mm -hmm. English civet cat. Ah yeah, okay. Yeah. So they're nocturnal animals, they active at night. Mm -hmm. So we keep just one in the cages to show in just for some reason. No. Because only this animal they eat coffee beans. Mm -hmm. So they eat coffee So what they do is they uh, eat these coffee beans and they poop around this place and once they <laughs> and these guys collect the poop and dry it off, clean the poop. I will show you the process. Like this. Oh, okay. Over there, we will do it and then we grind it. We grind it, right? And the last one is. And then we sip it. All manual, so we just use this smell. Okay, so this is the. <laughs> Lua coffee. Yeah. So basically. The animal named the Asian civet eats the cherries or the coffee beans and the locals collect the feces of this animal and they are dried and after so many process you get lower coffee. I was really surprised to know that there were a lot of coffee variety. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Coffee. Okay. Grass tea. Coconut coffee, mm -hmm. ginger tea, mm -hmm. vanilla coffee, brasella tea, hibiscus, no. vanilla coffee and cocoa, mm -hmm. mangosteen tea, ginger coffee, and chocolate tea. All with sugar except Bali coffee. Mm -hmm. So guys, I'm gonna try different coffee. This is part like different tea and coffee. So first, I'm gonna try the turmeric tea. Oh, looks, I don't know what to expect. I'm gonna try the mangosteen tea. Oh. I'm gonna try the ginger tea. That's, I think it's gonna be the same as what we have in India. And now I'm gonna have the Bali coffee, which I've tried in New Sapanera. So I think it's gonna be the same. I'm going to try the Rasala tea or I think it's Hibis tea. It's sour, but it's tasty. Like the Mandla coffee. So it looks like the normal milk tea. Tastes good. Coconut coffee. Indonesia is the fourth largest producer of coffee. You can clearly know when you visit this place. The view from this place was amazing. They do have a small shop where you can get all the coffee which we tasted and also they do have Lua coffee as well. How much are these small packs? Uh, small packs. So which one? As after going through the shop for half an hour, I made up my mind to go for a cocoa and also a turmeric coffee, which cost around five hundred thousand IDR. This place looks amazing. It looks like a forest, but at the same time, it's very quiet and calm. Nice. 
you're wondering where I'm right now, now I'm here in Cornish. Uh, they do have a beautiful park and beach. It's very sunny today. So summer has officially started, so it's very hot. And I'm walking through the Cornish park. By the way, if you have not seen, this is how dates are uh, produced. Like th this is the date palm and it's summer. So these are all dates. That's how dates are formed. Like here you can see, I don't know if it's clear, but these are all dates which are like ready to uh, cut. So hope you like my video. Don't forget to share, subscribe, comment and also follow my Instagram if you have not, if you have not yet. So yeah, so yeah, I'll posting the stories and updates on my Instagram and yeah, so keep it subbed. So I'll, I'll be posting more videos soon. So thank for watching. Bye.